You're looking for a more immersive experience with the convention? Not just a chat or a Twitch stream? Well, then we have a treat for you. With Virtual Furrens, you can join one of the most holistic furry conventions out there on VRChat. As you can see, <laughs> there are not many things you need, any fancy equipment or VR headset. With just a PC, you will be able to hop in and meet other people like at the convention. You ask yourself how? Well, let me show you. Like with any software, we first need to download the game. It is completely free to play and doesn't have any microtransactions or loot mechanics to worry about. You can either download on Steam or the respective store for your VR headset. You can find the links on the vrchat.com. For now, I will show you how to join on a regular PC with Steam. Simply open up Steam with your account and search in the store for VR Chat. Download it like any other regular game and install it. You will need at least 3GB free space on your hard drive, 4GB of RAM and a graphics card as powerful as an NVIDIA GTX 970 or Radeon R9 290. Keep in mind that the better PC will of course increase your experience, especially in worlds with a lot of people around. When you open VRChat for the first time, it will ask you how you would like to log in. Creating an account at VRChat will unlock multiple neat features like being recognized as a trusted user and the ability to upload your very own avatars. Let's choose Steam for now, since it's enough for what we have planned. I highly recommend to do the tutorial at that point to get familiar with the general controls and the habits of VRChat. For this video and your convenience, we will skip that part. This is your very own personal space in VRChat. You can always retreat here and try the controls of the game in a convenient environment. When not configured differently, the blinking red microphone in the left button corner tells you that you're currently muted and need to press V to talk with other people. Currently, nobody will hear you, so try it out as much as you like. You can change the behavior of your microphone later in your settings. Now, let's open up your menu. To do that, press escape on your keyboard. This menu is your control panel and the way you can change your avatar in the world you visit. As before, I recommend to get familiar with it and at least have a look at the settings and the safety options to configure everything to your personal liking. When you're ready, let us jump to the actual convention space. To do so, there are two main options. The faster website option and the more intuitive in-game option. The website option lets you join any world from the optimized VRChat.com. For someone who joins for the first time, opening a website next to a game can be a little inconvenient though. Thus, we suggest the more intuitive in-game option. For that, just go to the menu and click on Worlds. Here you will find every open world that is created for VRChat, which is quite a lot. To find the Astral here, click on the search in the right upper corner and type in Virtual Furrens. Make sure there's no space in between, otherwise it might not work. It can take some time and maybe a second search, but eventually you should see the virtual foreign space you're looking for. Click on it. Here you see all the information about the world on this tab, from the ability to put it to your favorites, to joining an open instance, or creating your very own for you and your friends. To have the best experience, you should join a server with 20 or less people and press go. In case your game starts lag, try some options in your safety menu or go in the world with less people. And here you are, in the Great Astral, with all the other first joining for EFO. Be reminded, EFO is a place for all, so don't go out. Respect others, and of course, have fun! A small part of the virtual con space is already available and will stay so for even after the con, so test it out! These are all the basics you need to know to join our server in VRChat. However, we have a few more tips that can enable you to have a better experience with the whole convention. Just stay a little longer and we'll show you how. First off, you will probably like a suitable furry avatar. When you play the tutorial, you will have noticed that the easiest way to get one is to join a world with a selection. There are multiple worlds out there where you can find a good looking furry avatars of almost any species or creation. If you want to have an easy time, just hop into Furhub. It has a great variety of free characters and even lets you teleport to other furry avatar worlds in the community. So don't get overwhelmed when you join there and browse as long as you want. 
In regard of options in your menu, we highly recommend to disable personal space in the settings and enable unlimited dynamic bones under the somewhat hidden performance options. This is not required, but will increase your experience with some very creative furry avatars out there. Also, if you don't want to fiddle with your V key all the time, you can also enable mic default on in the settings. For more immersive experience, you can also hide nameplates and the UI from here. In case you are running into someone that you really don't want to talk to, simply open up your menu. You can either just hover your mouse over them or find them in the social tab. From there, you can mute them, hide their avatar or even completely block them. Be reminded that these instances can be joined by anyone, not just attendees. So use the option whenever you see necessary. Uh, by the way, when you close VRChat for the first time, you might see a little window popping up, asking you to install the link extension. Recommend to allow it to do so, to be able to rejoin the con space by just clicking the link on our website. And that's all! There are many more things with VRChat you can experience, but that we'll leave up to you. So, don't hesitate. And see you at the convention!